Hello and welcome back to the Stephen Trice podcast, episode five, I think. Da, da, da. Um, this week I'm joined by Thomas Cooney. Hello. Max Smith. Hello there. And Cameron Green. <laughs> Woo! Guys, Call me, uh, we see Jimmy G. I'm changing my entire persona. So oh. I don't know. This is a big risk. I am, I am. We talked we talked about it. I'm changing my entire persona to be more rugged and manly. So is that before or after you put on the necklace? <laughs> rugged and manly. <laughs> That's me. I don't, I don't give a shit. I'm That's the necklace it, yeah. out. Um, There's a lot of testosterone in yeah, this yeah. room. We read Although in the sound check you binned off the one two foot. Ah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we read all your comments about Dave and I finally heard his laugh and you bang on, you yeah. know. Get oh, him no, out of I, here. I didn't know that. No, he'll never no, be back. I didn't know no, that. Not at all. I uh, never actually listened to the podcast. But <laughs> last night not I many thought, people do, man. <laughs> I may as well give it a listen, see what's going on. And uh, fuck me. We we, we had that, a meeting that. straight away. Uh, me and Max were sat in a, uh, in Subway and we went, this can't run. I was throwing up that lovely vegan meatball marinara you bought me. Yeah. You know, just the sound of his laugh, it just goes right through my noggin. Yeah. Um... And we didn't even get a refund on the subway. (laughs) But you know what, guys? Uh, We've replaced him with Cameron Green because that's what you wanted. You said, get rid of Dave and replace him with Cameron Green. I thought it was just going to be a feel-good podcast. (laughs) No, no, this is a lot of pressure. I know, feel guilt. (laughs) Fuck guilt. Fuck Uh, Dave. One mistake and you're gone. Oh, Oh, no. You can't say that. No, I wish I... I I wrote him a nice poem. We are all joking. Uh... Are we? Yeah, yeah. Well, I am. Uh, <laughs> this week we're talking about jobs, and Cameron has just quit a job. So I yeah. thought, what a better opportunity <laughs> to throw your CV out there <laughs> than exposing you over an hour-long podcast? You know, what? exposing me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, already, I've already been exposed. To Come on, Beta Jimmy Mail. G. <laughs> what you want me to tell you about the job? Big players in the business we can't, world. We can't jump to this straight podcast. into that. Let's warm him in. Uh, Cameron, you were last on the podcast <laughs> yeah. eight months ago. Talk about festivals. Serious. Yeah. It's a while, yeah. Um, to be fair, we stopped the podcast for, <laughs> for a long time. You've missed four podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> That's consistency. Uh, what have you been up to? Any changes in your life? Oh, well, nothing, nothing I can't handle, you know what I mean? The uh, earring? Yeah, no, I've had a few earrings. My so earring macho. actually fell out in the shower before. And. Um, I won't tell you what I said. In fact, I went, oh, shit. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't something along the lines of, it wasn't something along the lines of, oh, bugger my bum, because that's the old me, and the new me, pff, none of that. You don't know what you're in for. I don't think you do. No, no. It's like you I'm, swam out too far. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm drowning. I'm very I'm public. I'm, I'm going back to the old me. I'm picturing you in the bath. You've got a lovely bath bomb going on. Oh, you on. dirty <laughs> It's all a picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Is that, is that your new... Oh, that's all camp pictures. <laughs> you wish. That's just, dude, it's a massive bath. I swam out too far. I to get Max to come and rescue me. Go on, Danny. We have uh, fun. Tom, have you been up to anything interesting? Uh, no, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that was Looney Cooney this week. <laughs> Tune in next week. <laughs> oh, it's Tom Looney. I got it, I got it mixed up. Oh, dear me. Um, and Max, anything interesting? So much is going on in my life. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, do, you want, do you want me to... It could be a podcast in itself, to be honest with you. <laughs> if you've got something interesting, then yeah, please do. Uh, okay. That doesn't, that doesn't fill me with confidence instantly. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm really excited for the new uh, Doom game coming out. Oh, okay, so no, I've Max, just been watching videos on that. So Max, that's fun. Max, I'm on about things that have happened and you're talking about what you're looking forward to in the But in I've, the I've been watching videos on it and that is what's happened. <laughs> okay. That's uh, my life, all right? Get used to it, yeah? Cameron, have you got anything that has actually happened to you? Uh, oof, not, nothing that I could reveal without having some later investigation by federal authorities. <laughs> uh, Gordon Bennett. No, nothing. I mean, you'll all find out in due course, if need be. <laughs> Fair enough. Keep I killed on, Dave to get on the on watch, kiddies. <laughs> not kiddies. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, not kiddies. Very uh, conscious. I've, uh... <laughs> oh, God. Can, I, I was, can I was you Ill. stop any of that? <laughs> I was ill on Saturday, and I was thinking, <laughs> oh, oh, super God. spreader over here. Is it, is it the coronavirus? Uh, and if it was, then I batted it, you know. Oh, so Despite the sound of my, my nose being bumped. You, you but, know, uh, you're a hero to, to many. I know. Uh, know. Is anyone else bothered about the coronavirus or is it? No. Uh, a little bit, yeah. 
I'm I'm fuming that they're cancelling all these events. It's more just yeah, it's live it. Things. I I told Tom my policy today, which is, if you're willing to die from it, then you can still turn up to the event. Yeah. I think yeah. that's fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I'd I'd still go to at your own risk. I'd yeah. still go to forty twos. Cheltenham coverage has been good. I mean, I've seen that today. The no. box popped a load of people, and they specifically went for like older people, yeah. just because you know <laughs> they're at risk. <laughs> and you know you've got to let them on telly before they expire. So they went to these women. And, a couple of our friends do have bad immune systems, oh. but they're here. And then these other fellas who were like already at like 10 in the morning, getting gone sloshed, they were like, hey, who cares, mate? No, nah, you just got to live and let live. That's what I say. <laughs> I'm just picturing yeah. like a load of 80 year olds turning up to the Make a Wish Foundation, <laughs> <laughs> asking to be on the Chilton. And... I just want to win her at Cheltenham. <laughs> <laughs> just one, don't we all love? Oh, Venice. But, but to be fair, by the time this podcast goes out, it could be so different because we're probably where Italy was like two weeks ago. And look Italy's at them now. nice oh, though, God. isn't it? Yeah. I'd love to be in Italy. <laughs> Have you been to Rome? Uh, no. Oh, good pasta work. there. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we could be doing the next podcast from hospital beds. I thought you were going to so, say, by the time this podcast is finished, we don't know where we'll be. So oh, we all God. walk outside. <laughs> it's a wasteland. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> well, that escalated. <laughs> um, let's get into the topic of today, which is jobs. Uh, cool, yeah. Sorry. That's the level. Um, <laughs> sorry. Just, just say, just the thought of working made me, made me feel sick. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll start with Tom. Because he's lived a life, that yeah, boy. Yeah. Um, so many jobs. And also with his immune system and the coronavirus, it could be gone. Oh. Don't clap that. Older and at risk. Um, mm. First job, Tom. What was your first job? First ever job, paper round. Yeah? Yep. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Whereabouts? <laughs> we don't need to go into any more detail. Uh, I was about 13. Oh, about 40 years ago. Like. Yeah, yeah. My dad used to take me around in the car. And really? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you know, I kind of... I got it with good intentions, did it, did it on my bike for a couple of weeks, a couple yeah. of months, yeah. and then just started dragging me down, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a stressful day at work, Dad. Stressful week in school, you know, I've come on Saturday paper. morning. Yeah. What paper yeah. was it? What? All the different papers. It was very kind of, it's a split area of mine, so it's where kind of like working class becomes money. So, you know, you've got a yeah. bit of everything, yeah. you know, yeah. your broadsheets and your, your shit. Did you ever have the yeah. Beano? Never. Really? Yeah. Do you read the Beano? I, I used to. Like banana Man? No, that's a... Uh, wait, wasn't that the Dandy? <laughs> the, was, the Dandy was, set yeah. idea, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. <laughs> um, uh, did, did you get a decent amount? Oh, which, <laughs> it, I don't even know because I'm... <laughs> yeah, I just, I just dad, remember an envelope with coins <laughs> jingling, so it was a different economy back then. I bet yeah, your dad yeah. spent more on the paper yeah, exactly, yeah. driving yeah, around yeah, yeah. than you got for the paper. Yeah, I got sacked from that job eventually. What for? Uh, I, I was just <laughs> Sleeping with the bus? I just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just nicked the. I think I nicked the paper. I've been oh, sleeping with my oh driver. God. Sorry, that's awful. <laughs> Fucking hell, <laughs> Max. That's not on, mate. Uh, that's Lenders. That's appalling. <laughs> I like the fact you had a driver though. It was the original fake taxi though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what are you doing, oh, stepdad? Sorry, dad. <laughs> Get me gone round. Uh, <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> He's doing blue. <laughs> <laughs> You're my like Jimmy Browns. And <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, right, Max. What was your first job? First job, uh, cleaning oh. the inside of Tom's dad's car. Just using the the leftover sun issues in the back to <laughs> wipe up all the. Uh, Yep. yep. Uh, <laughs> just in case anyone didn't get that joke. <laughs> I've done a diagram. <laughs> well, yeah, what was your first, first job, job? Max? Oh, man, that's, that's a good question. Uh, Great question. <laughs> how old, how old were you as well? <laughs> how old was I? I was probably about, I was a 15-year-old kid. Yeah. Yeah? As uh, opposed to a 15-year-old man. 15-year-old <laughs> <laughs> kid, um, and I was working at an uh, indoor kids' play area. Oh, right. How did you get that job? My grandmother was friends with the mother of the manager. So it's a family connection. A bit oh, of nepotism sweet. in there. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. They saw me and they went, we like what you've got. 
Yeah. So we want you to. What, what did you have watching kids? <laughs> <laughs> I had experience. There. Um, it was like it was like you had to do party host parties and stuff, so you had to be sort of energetic and yeah. <laughs> and fun, uh, which you know I've I've subsequently lost. Over Imagine the years. how confused you look when more than one kid turned up to the party. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> <laughs> so you you became the pirate Pete of the world. I did. Yeah. I did. Max had a party at Pirate Pete's once, and only one kid turned up. There's a little bit of context for you. Did one kid turn up? Or was it no one? No one kid turned up. Right. Oh really? Yeah. It's out. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, must have been awkward. Camp. What was your yeah, first man. job, mate? I, I love my first job. It was uh, a little garden centre in Prescott called Whitaker's. And all it was... Other garden centres are available. There you go, yeah. This this was actually a brand deal for Whitaker's Max. Oh, we, had, um, we had a, a vicious rivalry with Bents. So people would come in and be like, do you know where Bents is? I'm like, you cheeky cat. <laughs> you see me in my bloody uniform on here. But it was just flirting with all women. It's, if I ever had a gift, and how old it was for that. Go on, Benny. I think I started at like 16 and through college, 16 to 18. But, um, <laughs> you know... You know, I must have just had one of those faces. Yeah. When when their husbands came in, <laughs> fluff, they walk in, they've got about 10 minutes before they get to the counter and they're shaking the stick. I'm like, go on, shake that one more time, fall over. You have plenty of time to escape, was what I meant. <laughs> but that's what I told you about the chicken. That yeah. happened at my first job. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, get the chicken? Yeah. Yeah. I can, well, I could just imagine it, your job. Someone mm. comes in and goes to a staff member. Have you got any pansies? And they just point at you. There you go. Brilliant. That's a, that's a cheap What gag. was your uniform? I used to have a, a bright yellow jumper with a little B on it. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's class. What was, uh, uh, yeah, what was the chicken right, story? Right, I'll abridge it as much as I can, but we basically got a ring one morning and I was on the counter and someone went, excuse me, mate, do you have chickens? <laughs> and we're like, yeah, yeah, we got chickens in the coop. I like, oh, great. I went outside this morning, there was a chicken... And I think it might be your chicken. <laughs> I was like, well, we're not missing any chickens, but we can bring it in. You know, yeah, count the chickens. Ironically, not before they hatched. <laughs> um, he, and then the, it, a couple of couple of hours pass, and then some fella comes in with a big duck of duffel coats. <laughs> 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 and he goes, excuse me, I think I spoke to you on the phone. I was like, did you? And he went, yeah, he's after a chicken. <laughs> he whips out this chicken, like, by the throat. He's like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, oh should you, let's, let's get this out the back. So we take this chicken out to the back, and it's like, uh, you know the scene in Lassie where he's like, go on, go, I don't want you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, this chicken, go on, I don't want you. <laughs> and you, you stick it in the chicken coop. Well, chickens have this thing called a pecking order. So when a new chicken comes in, they all start pecking it. And oh, no. that's to assert their dominance. It's a very Is that vicious, where it comes from, the yeah. phrase? Well, vicious no, no, it's not. It it's <laughs> there you go. So he sticks it in. I'm thinking this chicken's going to get dinnered. Was I wrong? This chicken yeah. raised one of its claws. Or like, went for like the biggest, toughest chicken in there. Prison yard rules. <laughs> pins this chicken up against the wall. He also had a lot of heroin up. And this well. fella, I swear he was just a trainee cockfighter or something. He was like, go on, get in there, man. <laughs> and then he's like, let us in there, let us in there. Crawl, crawls in, hunkers down. Six foot three or something. This fella, a tiny chicken coop. Grabs his chicken. Sticks it back in his thing. Come on, mate. I'm keeping him. These chickens are nasty. And leaves. Jesus. That must. That all happened before one o'clock on a Saturday <laughs> afternoon. It sounds like yeah, you're you know the Lassie thing. It sounds like you were part of a film. Yeah. You yeah. know, but yeah. there's more story there. Oh, I feel God. like something else is going to happen after I, that. I often left. wonder what happened yeah. to that man and his chicken. Yeah. That chicken grew up to be Conor McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And that man yeah. was Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's mine anyway. That's that's beautiful. You've only ever done this, haven't you? Uh, no, my first job. Oh, God, what was it? Have I worked? Oh, I was a waiter. <laughs> Fucking hell. Where were you a waiter? It's one you've done as well. It was a uh, Haydock. Oh, for Haydock Race yeah, Course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that's, a little weekend nice thing. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but so, I. I bet you would have fucking hated that. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the first time I did it, uh, yeah, it was just the weird customers that were there, and I was like. Yeah. Uh, waiting on and had this big tray which I could barely carry with all these drinks on. Oh, you were in the posh bit? Yeah. They stuck me in the fucking dregs. I, I wouldn't have minded <laughs> <Common>. that. <laughs> I had some bloke made a joke about... Uh, was it? it was like Jimmy Savile or something? Or, like, I bet you think I like Jimmy Savile. 
<laughs> was this no, before just, or before, before anything? Before before anything before oh, no, no. I can make what do you know? <laughs> but he made some weird joke like that. And the next guy was going on about, how do you spell your name, Stephen? Is it with a PH or a V? Then going on about some religious stuff. Oh, God. Like, oh, it better man. be the right one. I was like, oh, Christ. Uh, and then I got sent home early because I was watching the football on the TV. <laughs> Did you get any good tips? Um, yeah, stop watching the football. <laughs> <laughs> Off that fella. Jimmy Savile fella. There's a lot of people there that are all very... Uh, like, when you work there, you go Locked to the loop here. and you yeah. see loads of people like, do you work here, dear? Like, <laughs> yes, you go. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I'm joining you, mate. Uh, I used to spend ages in the toilets as well, but I was, uh, I was just wasting time. I used to have a four-hour shift and I'd spend half an hour in the toilets. Mm. That's it. Waste. Screw the system because the system screws you, mate, yeah? That's it, yeah. yeah. You know. I I used to dodge having to work a lot. Uh, My first job was probably like 17. How long were you there for? Uh, I was only like when they had events on, really. So it was probably over like two years, but... If you've got a... doesn't know, does he? (laughs) This is not what we've been through. He doesn't know he's born, this lad, to get on the... uh... The big oity toity events, like in the executive yeah. lounges, mm. at the end of the day, you know, flutter your eyelashes a little bit. They'll give you some, like, yeah, really big yeah, maybe I didn't you. get that because I've been sent home at four. <laughs> <laughs> That's why right, outside this. the window. Please. He, put, he put in all the hard yards and then <laughs> I'm having his tips. Yeah. You could have been balling, you lad. Yeah, but I wasn't. Oh, well. Never mind. If Haydock asked you to go back, would you? Um. <laughs> No. If they came back hat in hand, we treated you wrong, Stephen. You know what? I, I'm just going to say what's done is done. Uh, forget about it. What's uh, all the footer you want, mate? <laughs> I don't get this job, Max. What do they think I'm doing? <laughs> Plenty of worse jobs to take on in our little corner of the globe anyway. I've done worse jobs than that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Who were? In terms of strenuous, <laughs> I, uh, I had to deliver leaflets once, which sounds easy enough, but they gave you like a thousand leaflets and yeah. weighed quite a lot. And you had to just walk around, uh, walk around whatever whatever area it would be. Right. You know, once it was Oldham, uh, <laughs> we did various different places. You were like 18, 17, they made you have to get to Oldham in the first place. No, they drove me. Oh, right, fair enough. The, the guy who did <laughs> it was nice me. You're on your own now, son. <laughs> That's what they did. <laughs> Don't pick you up. <laughs> and, uh, it's your dad again. And it was, like, it was like five, six hours it'd take to do all this, and you got 30 quid. 30 quid? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They take the oh, piss, man. don't they? Yeah. Oh, God. But... Uh, Sometimes it, I just dump a load in You're the bin. You're getting thousand yeah. yard stairs like a Vietnam War veteran. Well, <laughs> I was I was awful at the job anyway because I hated dogs and there were so many dogs that just oh, jump up yeah. and no. <laughs> just dump them and go and watch the football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they had a tracker on you as well. <laughs> what? Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> what? It was it's it's a 30 quid. They put a tracker on you. <laughs> we got drones in no, the sky. Steve, Stephen, you spent three hours at Anfield. What <laughs> 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 what's uh what's Anfield it's where Liverpool it's, play, it's like. just uh, my nan Anne. just her field man. oh fair um, <laughs> so w- worst jo- worst jobs Shocking. you must be able to beat that oh yeah worst definitely jobs. worst jobs yeah 100% oh go on you go I'm trying to think I've had so many uh, so I worked in a restaurant for about a week where was and it? that was awful Around the corner, it's just called Restaurant Bar and Grill. Uh, look it up. Um, <laughs> it was fucking awful. I had a, like a little splash of Coke, right? Like a like that much. Yeah. That much. Yeah. About an inch for for the people listening to audio. And uh, I got a call from the manager. Oh, can you come into the back for a minute? It's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> What's up, sir? <laughs> And they go, oh, we 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 checked through the cameras and we saw you uh, you had some Coke. Uh, you actually have to pay for that. I had to pay like two pound for that. I was fuming. I could have got a thirty litre for that. That's bang out of order. Yeah, exactly. Thirty litres. Yeah, Coke. Max, I don't (laughs) think you can get thirty litres for two quid. (laughs) Try me. (laughs) Next week on the podcast, I'm going to bring in thirty litres of Coke. For two pounds. If you're listening to that, it's going to be fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> It'll basically be. It's just, it. it's just you going. There's <laughs> 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 a big ball. Tom, bad jobs. Uh, I did a bit of door to door. Oh yeah. Selling. Well, it was. Did you ever hear? You know this. Um, Loft insulation thing. Oh, it's it's no. government, but you had to kind of 
get people to go out and, yeah. and want it and then yeah. you can kind of access the funds kind of thing. Yeah, I got a, I was doing another shit job, which was fundraising. So I was, do you know what? They're both as bad. This was a period of my life where I was mainly <laughs> outside trying to earn a living. So yeah, I did a bit of fundraising for a bit where, you know, then people in the, the, in the street that stopped charity it. fundraising. So that's like, hey, how are you? you yeah. Know. Oh God. How did you make people want the loft insulation and the wall oh, insulation? So yeah, the fundraising I did for a few months and I managed to kind of add enough joy behind my eyes to make that last for... Like what was your trick? Oh, like, I don't know. I was just... the cell? Oh, it's difficult. Cities, cities were the worst because it's like you just you just feel so on show. Mm. Like you're just in the middle of like Market Street in Manchester, <sighs> on, on, you know, where underneath the uh, the food court where yeah, they are. Yeah. And it's I'm, just so I'm many picturing people. Picturing you walking around on a cold day, wrapped in insulation, <laughs> like giving people the eye, like I, I'm, bet you're cold. <laughs> you could be like me. <laughs> I only had to get contacts, so sometimes I just make them up and go watch the football. But no, uh, <laughs> you two are awful. <laughs> it was uh, I, I, I like smaller towns better, like kind of like. I don't know. Uh, like a little just very yeah, mm. little smaller places because there's only a few. Mm. They can they're easier to pin down. <laughs> and I wasn't like this. They can't you know, escape. Yeah, I wasn't all fake like some people. I just like I was quite nice. And once Can't you get them real. to stop, when they know they don't want you to sign up, you know you don't want them to sign up there. And then yeah. they're a bit more open. So I did a bit of that for a bit. Eventually hated it. And then did some door to door for it lasted about a week. That was horrendous. <laughs> really? I just pissed it down for a week, just knocking on people's doors, just telling me to fuck off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah brutal. I did, grim. I did better wear once. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen it, the catalogue that you'll get. You'll probably notice it on your doorstep. And it's like, uh, do you like Wilco's? Yeah. It's like that, but a catalogue. And you have to deliver a load of those <laughs> and then collect them like three days later. And if anyone's bought anything, you get like twenty percent of. So do they write in the catalogue? Yeah. So Jeez. you. you oh, might, this is you a bygone make, era. You isn't could it? make no money, but God. you could make something. Uh, that's just that, luck as well. That's, yeah, what, that's you're not that even was selling it. anything. Yeah, yeah. That was a shit job. You're just putting a, a catalogue on the doorstep. That's that true. Yeah. You know, uh, Cameron, have uh, you had any bad jobs? Uh, well, I'd I'd be reticent to say that the job I'd just quit was <laughs> was bad. It but it certainly wasn't for me. Um, what was it? It was basically uh, a company, a large company, <laughs> wanted to uh, wanted to get people to sign up to home heating and electricity Jesus. packages and all this. So well, I've just put insulation off Tom. So I don't <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You don't need it. You know, I've just put a load of asbestos <laughs> off Tom. I'm like, my house is toasty. <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> 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 mm. no, you, you turn up to. Um, turn up to Asda's Morrison's whatever and you'd stand there and people would be walking by and you'd oh, have to say yeah. to them like oh do you know when you were telling me about it I thought you were in an office that's no, even worse no, no, has anyone yeah. ever actually bought anything from someone like that yeah I sold really? a broadband package because it was the only thing I could fathom that that I felt yeah it, it, um, what did you say before Tom what was the word only thing you could I don't know you could bring yourself to sell I, it, basically the only yeah. thing you could bring yeah. yourself to sell it was like the, the whole thing was you're getting more value for money if you buy one of these home heating and electric packages from this big company because they yeah. offer you more stuff with it. Yeah. But this woman come in and uh, I had, she it, she didn't even really come over to talk to me. I just She had like a Liverpool scarf on and I was like, I hope you lose. And then uh, <laughs> she'd come over to talk. <laughs> I, I chased her into the car park. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we were just on about some rubbish and the girl would come over and um, she was like, oh, you're interested in home heating broadband? And I was like, oh, no, not again. This woman turned out she was paying like 70 quid a month for a broadband, and uh, I was like, "What do you do for it?" She said, I like, I like to do tweeting, and <laughs> I like to keep keep like on track of people's birthdays on Facebook. And I was like, "Right, okay, we'll sort you out something cheaper here." The rest of it, it, it felt you know what the best somewhat thing about disingenuous, just because I didn't believe yeah. in the product. The best thing about this is you started off by saying, "I hope you lose," but in yeah. the end, you helped her save. Yeah, and I you taught her about porn, didn't you? It's yeah. <laughs> the whole world out there. That, that was afterwards. You're missing yeah. a trick here, look. <laughs> there was one woman that come over to us and she went, I'm only coming over because uh, you look handsome. And her husband went, she doesn't want out, and pushed her out the door. <laughs> I'm like, all right, pal, could have saved some money in your broadband. Get stuffed. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that bad, though. The people are really nice. Where, where did you go for your work experience at school? <laughs> 
I went with uh, my dad's mate to uh, Fenton's solicitors, and it is, it's all downhill from there. It's like a really oh, high powered great. soliciting yeah. firm. And they had me there, and they're like, Can you read through these files? And I was like, I don't know what, what on earth these are about. So I'm like, Right, you can't read through files. I spent a day flicking piece of paper into a little goal I made using paper clips. That took me a ludicrously long time. If it was on Art Attack, you could have took a whole season of me doing that up. And then it, they said, oh, what's he good for? And it just had me moving actual filing cabinets after that. Like, it took me ages to move him down the stairs. I dropped one on my foot, spent the whole day jumping around. Yeah, one day, though, someone gave me some cake. <laughs> I don't think it was anyone's birthday. They just thought, feed him up. He's, he's having a hard time. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> give him me. some energy to move some more fucking filing cabinets. <laughs> yeah. Come on, fatty. These cabinets won't move themselves. <laughs> you want some cake? You want some cake? Yeah, on a string. <laughs> Pick up the cabinets. <laughs> Running towards them. Oh, this bit's got a cherry on it. <laughs> oh, God. Max, what did you do? Uh, so, nearly everyone in my year wanted to go work at... Uh, it was called Zavi. It, it, it used to be a virgin. Music place, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it changed to a Zavi, and everyone was like, we're going there. We love our tunes. We love our DVDs. Uh, <laughs> so them. Everyone <laughs> in school. <laughs> no, literally. So I, I booked to go there, and the day I got there, there was like 30 other people. Oh, Christ. Um, and they were like, we, we can only take five of you. So everyone had to leave. Right? So I ended up, ended up just sitting in my dad's office. Just, uh, <laughs> what, what does your dad do? <laughs> Works from home. <laughs> he was the manager of Zavi's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no son of man's going to work at this fucking fair uh, place. No, um, basically, so I, I, I just ended up playing Unreal Tournament on my computer for like two weeks. That was fun. Wow. So, you know. Um, that sort did of the school not, <laughs> did you tell the school that you had Well, no, because taken? this was literally the day that everyone had to leave for, for right, work okay, experience. Shit. So 30 of us get there and it's like, well, we've only got space for five. Yeah. Somebody <sighs> messed up. Well, it's probably Zavi. I mean, they're no, no longer no. around. How so. dare you? How dare you? <laughs> put some respect Slander. on Zavi's name. <laughs> Yeah. Other uh, DVD <laughs> wholesalers are available. We're available. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah, that's true enough. Fuck you, Zavi. I'm going blockbusters. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, what did you do? I was at a primary school. <laughs> <laughs> Just spent two weeks there. Yeah. Who was I with? Uh, I was uh, bothered you. <laughs> Trust me, I got experience. <laughs> Year three. I think the change of room attendant. <laughs> I did actually have to do. <laughs> oh, no. Well, there was there was two there was there was a female teacher and a female assistant, and then on the like so the day that they all went for the swimming lesson, I had to I, I had to go and supervise them in the uh, yeah in the kids' changing room. You didn't all, have to wear your speedo. Uh, <laughs> just wanted to immerse myself now. Eh? It's, it's, it's pro- proper awkward because like obviously the kids they're only young they don't really kind of sense that I'm just trying to just keep my head down and just and they're all like kind of running around yeah. naked like whipping me oh, with a towel oh, and stuff oh, just like, God. so I'm just trying to be professional you know <laughs> uh, has anyone been sacked for something uh, yeah I've been sacked a few times oh yeah go on delve deeper uh, I got sacked from Gala Bingo uh, for giving out free drinks oh <sighs> Which is it's a shame because I wasn't giving out free drinks. Um, I think they just wanted to get rid of me because yeah. you know, I was I was outgrowing the place. You That's did true. you did give out free drinks because oh, you no, gave no, me no. some of the the dredge water from the uh, the beer lines. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was funny. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you did charge for that. It's <laughs> good, good lad. Because uh, I remember when when you were telling me about this about uh, Gala Bingo accusing you of stealing, and you were like, I can't. I can't believe they're saying this. And as he was saying it, he was in the doorway wearing a girl on the bingo dressing gown. <laughs> I, can't, I mean, Tom, you look a little bit guilty there, mate. Oh, yeah, I got I got suspended while they invested. I was on there uh, suspended with full pay for like three, three, what? four weeks. Yeah. It's a dream That's job. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, oh. you had to go through like two stages of a disciplinary. It brought my dad in. Really? Because <laughs> he's, he's a union rep at work. So, Did he drive uh, you there? <laughs> 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 Driving you around the bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, son. If you lose your job, uh, <laughs> the Daily Mail's always right. they've done right by this family. Uh, Max, have you ever been sacked? No, I'm I'm a good I'm a good hard worker. <laughs> well, yeah. You've like two jobs, aren't you? 
<laughs> I got Max a job one time at Tiger Tiger handing out glow sticks. <laughs> oh, that's awful. For, I hated for one that. night only. Oh, I hated he kept drinking. So for much. one night only, it's Max Smith. <laughs> I wasn't there. How did that go? It was awful. Really? I mean, it was. It wasn't all, it was just boring. It was so mind numbing. All right, fair you've got enough. So many drunk people coming up to you. Get on the glow stick. <laughs> you've always, you've already had your, your, your recommended allowance of glow sticks. Recommended. <laughs> you went power crazy for glow exactly, sticks. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it was one per person. I was told that specifically. Yeah. And, you know. Uh, You're k- kicking off at a girl who's made a necklace out of three. <laughs> <clears throat> just ripping it off. How fucking dare you? I'm just imagining what's his name off White Chicks. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, it, it escapes me. That oh, one fair enough. Terry yeah, Cruz. We'll, we'll is it Terry Cruz? He's in it. Yeah. 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 Uh, Cam, have you been sacked? <laughs> uh, oh, God. Uh, I think I, there's a couple of things I should have been sacked for, but I tend to just weasel my way out of it with indemnable charm and, of course, lies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't really think it's a sackable offence. But this one time at the BBC, I was working a festival and I was in the CBB's bedtime story <laughs> tent. Oh. Uh, I might have just going been off like, in that. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. It's quite embarrassing. Nothing happened. Nothing really this way. Oh, I'll just get on. He snored a line off Putsy <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah. I got sat from Mecca Bingo for doing a line. Um, let's see. I was sat there and um, you had to sit up, get down, and basically just make sure nothing was going wrong in the tent. If any, anyone needed anything, you, you could sort it out for them. Well, I sat down and my kecks ripped, and they ripped like mm. right the way up. <laughs> so I was like, oh, Gordon Bennett. I probably swore. <laughs> so I shouldn't have done that anyway. But if ever anyone asked for something, then I just had to sit there and go, no, no, fucking do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> do it yourself. You're a parent, do it yourself. <laughs> and in the end, I'm walking around with like um, the the top that they give us, like my own top on, yeah. like over me bits so nothing falls out. And I was like, "Yeah, hey, can I, hey, I'll, I'll do that for you now. I'll do that for you now." Well, I must have just looked a complete bugger all day. <laughs> Thinking about it, could have obviously been a lot worse. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's it. At least you got your health. That's yeah, it. that's you true. Know. Yeah. Uh, I've <laughs> it's the cam towel. Clapping there only for another. Weirdly week. enough, I've actually got a. a a keck ripping story. <laughs> uh, I, uh, when I was working at the, um, the indoor play area. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing a little too hard. I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> just me in the bull pit on my own. Uh, I, self-sabotage. <laughs> I went up a, I went up a ladder. Cause obviously yeah. they've got ladders. Yeah. Um, and also I had extremely tight trousers on because I put in a lot of weight back then. Um, <laughs> And they just ripped. How uh, bad was the rip? Awful. Like, <laughs> like basically they ripped in a... <laughs> like <laughs> dreams level. Like nightmare yeah. level. They yeah. just fall off. <laughs> down, you can't catch him. <laughs> fell down the ladder. <laughs> and I was wearing my tasty red thong that day. <laughs> Everyone saw. <laughs> Have a quit a job. Have a quit in like a dramatic fashion. Gone, I'm out of here. You, uh, you strike me as the sort of person that would. Uh, a little queer, like a <laughs> Well, I kind of, yeah. I'd, I had a big argument in the uh, in in the restaurant, uh, and oh, I was kind of it was like <laughs> told to go home. I was like, yeah, well, I quit, oh, kind yeah. of thing. So uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, you can't do, 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 do you want to recreate that with Max? And he, okay, go on, Max. You be the. Uh, Hi, yeah. welcome to my restaurant. Here we spill spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so anyway, <laughs> yeah. Now, basically, uh, I don't had put a... your hand in my face. <laughs> Get out of here. Go <laughs> home. <laughs> Love these characters. You scum. Get out of here, you little scum. <laughs> all these customers, all these customers eating their spaghettios, they're, they're looking at you, and they're looking at me, and they're embarrassed. The thing is, oh, I'm fuming. Why is this the best character he's done today? <laughs> Are you, you come into my shop. 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 You, you come into my shop that serves people food. Why is this restaurant? restaurant? Still not a shop. <laughs> Don't you come into my store and tell me what it is. Get yeah. out, go home. Yeah, Tom, you dodged a bullet there, didn't you? <laughs> Sounds like it, yeah. I'm still yeah. waiting for you to say, I'm, I'm quit. <laughs> yeah, well, basically... Uh, say yeah. it to me, <laughs> so I can put it in the paperwork that you've quit. <laughs> I'll give you your P45 form. <laughs> you kidding, mate? <laughs> I've got a wife and family to feed, and all I've been eating is spaghetti house. <laughs> Nobody's marrying that. How dare you, sir? Are you are you having a laugh? Are you having a chuckle? Oh, at my expense. At my expense, 
taxes, which <laughs> pay for this 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 Twizzix, this Twizzix, uh, pay- paycheck. <laughs> I am fuming. By the way, you what, fired. What was it that I did again? <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember. You need me to tell you. Please, sir. Use your big brain. You came in earlier and you said, Why the hell are we only serving spaghettios? <laughs> we're clearly outside. You say that you sell uh, steak. <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on. <laughs> uh, Sorry, you're fired. <laughs> Uh, let's move on to... Oh, God, no. I can't breathe. <laughs> Stephen Lies. Uh, Cam. Gather yourself. This week, you are <coughs> detecting bullshit, okay? Yes. So, myself... I need to... I can get <coughs> that there. Uh, myself, Tom and Max all have a story. Yep. One is true, two are lies. Um, do you know what? I'll kick it off this week. Yeah, it's, it's right on the screen there. I once got told to piss off by David Platt from Corrie whilst at work. Which job? You didn't it was... turn up to his house with a leaflet, did you? It was my leaflet one, yeah. <laughs> was, uh... Save the interrogations. That's, that's yeah. convenient. <laughs> uh, but now you go on to Tom. Uh, one day. <laughs> you hear them all yeah, and sorry, then you go yeah. back and sorry, ask sorry, questions. Sorry, yeah. Jesus Christ. One uh, yeah, one, <laughs> one day whilst at work uh, as a bartender on a busy evening, I was punched across the bar. Punched across the bar. Guy came across the bar. And Did punched, you have two glow sticks by any chance? Right, okay. Punched across the bar. Okay. Uh, hello, yeah, Max Smith. Yeah. Um, David Platt from Max Coronation Smith. Street. <laughs> fucking owner of a restaurant. Hello! <laughs> Lovely me! Uh, David Platt once got uh, stuck in the disabled toilet at my work. Why oh, is Jack? Is he in character as David Platt or was it actually just Jack P. Shepard? Oh, Jack P. Shepard, yeah. yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> but I don't, yeah, he, used, he used to be a right tear away, so it was yeah. David Platt. So, uh, for what Paul it's worth, he sh- wasn't the guy that punched me. <laughs> <laughs> That's Craig Charles. <laughs> <laughs> just Dev. <laughs> I bet Dev would. Uh, so, so hammy. So, you can interrogate us now. Right, okay. Well, I will start with you then. Oh, yeah. Sir. Go on. Proper line of duty style. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the duty. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, fuck, what was I going to uh, say? Who's done the whoopsie with the phone? <laughs> Where's that fat lad with the filing cabinet? <laughs> <laughs> I've got about 12 loaves of cake out there. 12 loaves of cake? <laughs> sure, we'll go. There's apple crumble all over this. <laughs> oh, it's too hot. Someone, someone smudged buttercream over your name. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve loaves of cake. This <laughs> is the name of his restaurant. <laughs> Twelve loaves. Of cake. Fuck you! I'm a podcaster, not a bloody uh, chef boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I got even to expose myself. So, uh, can you can you paint me more of a picture of this scene? I was I was in Altrincham, which I was happy about because it was one of the more glamorous areas we got yeah, to go to. Yeah. Although, because the houses are spaced out, it takes a little bit longer to get around. Yeah. Uh, but I was in there, and I was just walking up, walking up the drives as you would, and I'm walking up this one drive, and someone comes out to the car, and he's like, "What are you doing?" I'm oh, just delivering a leaflet, and he went, "What does that say?" And it was it had one of those signs, "No junk mail or whatever at this address." Yeah. yeah. I was like, "All oh, right." And he said, "Well, piss off." And I it just was went, him. I just did, you rec- off. did you recognise him? Yeah. Him. Right. Okay. Jack hmm. himself. How, how old were you? How old was he at the time? I don't know how old he is. Uh, he's I was. He's now, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was. Uh, I was. Good, good moisturizer. It takes good care of himself. I was eighteen. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, so do the maths. 20, 27, <laughs> 28. Doing well for himself then in altering him at 27, 28. Oh, yeah. He's got that yeah. Corrie money though, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He that said that since he was about money. twelve. Yeah. It must. Uh, must have got you down. How are you feeling? <laughs> uh, well, you know what? It was better than being chased by some of the dogs. Yeah, but uh, it entertained me more than anything. It because I was out there for hours. It sort of broke me, up the monotony. Yeah, yeah. yeah kept, kept me going. Okay, and I thought I'm going to tell this story one day on the podcast, <laughs> whilst right. listening to a podcast. I might come back to you later. I'll come back to you later <laughs> for more uh, information. Yeah. You can do. But, uh, yeah, go on. right. Of course. Then. Do you remember mine? Yeah. 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 Why did he do it? Why did he do it? Yeah. Why did he do it? Why did he punch you? I can only assume he was pissed off. With what? 
Uh, well, it was it was a it was a busy uh, it was a busy taboo Tuesday if I remember correctly. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Tuesday night in Tiger Tiger, yeah. and um, yeah, it was I was on a busy bar upstairs, and it was kind of start of the night, so like everyone's just drinking very fast and want, wants another drink, so the bar's rammed and everyone's like you know. Isn't to get... that just society in Great Britain? Uh, yeah, you know. Well, they they all wanted serving next, and it's very difficult to. You know, to know who's next, you just do the best you can, and yeah, obviously, he, yeah. So obviously, he, he felt that it should have been him. I served someone else, and I, he, he just he shouted me, and as I turned around, he just kind of like half jumped over the bar and just smacked me in the side of the head. God. He was with a girl. I feel like he was trying oh, to impress oh, her. That's not going to impress yeah, yeah. any woman. What a stud! How old were you at the time then? Uh, this was uni, so I was probably about 20, 24, 24, something like that. Yeah. I'd see, I'm I'm struggling with this one. You, you've not got a very punchable face. You've got. A, you've got I a don't. Very, this is you've got uh, a yeah. very welcoming, Max. calming. Face. Yeah, Max. Yeah. For the viewers at home, could you please punch Tom in the face? <laughs> You're right with this. Yeah. Okay. You see, he, he oh, needed to he needed to God. ask though, didn't he? I feel like if you punched yeah. you in the face, it'd be it'd be an instant sort of regret. You'd feel shameful. Yeah. yeah. Shameful. yeah. Yeah. Well, the guy, the guy did feel shame eventually. Uh, okay. I, chose you, him, you I chased know? him down. Well, yeah, the, well, we, 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 I told the security and uh, gave him a. He was wearing a quite a. He was wearing a shirt that I was able to. They were able to pick out. Right. So they, your blood out. So they stopped. <laughs> so they stopped him before he left the venue. I don't think he even did try to leave. He was just at another bar trying to get a drink. And yes, yeah, so obviously brought him downstairs. They called the police, and he was just like mortified. And uh, in the end, I didn't press charges. I've got um, an image in my head of yeah. this fella being Chris Eubank. <laughs> 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 he would be in Taboo Tuesday. <laughs> Mortified about what he's done. Uh, <laughs> Thor, I demand a beverage. We're going to have to speed up this. Uh, right, sorry, Max, go on. Tell Hi us there, tell us Max more. Smith. Yeah. Um, so David Platt, I don't know his name, Get I refuse shepherd. to learn. Um, he wanted to use the toilet. Mm. Obviously, he's a famous guy. Yep. If he goes into the urinals, he's got his little pecker out. So he might take a picture, Obviously. put it on the internet. Just Sil- little. Silicious slander, that. Yeah. Uh, or it's big. I, uh, you know, I don't want to assume. I did assume. It's Jack small. P.P. Shepherd. <laughs> um, basically, so he wanted to use the disabled toilet, um, but you need a key to get in. So he got in by... So, a, little, a disabled person came out of the toilet. He went in, yeah. locked the door. He didn't have the key. And, and because of that, he couldn't get out again. So... Yeah. He was yeah, stuck yeah. in a disabled toilet for how long? For probably about uh, five minutes. But five minutes, still a long time. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But if anything happened, he did have the toilet there. Um, <laughs> to drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just to make it a little bit more believable, here's a picture of me and David Platt at work. What's the oh, picture? Oh, to be fair. What's the picture? Oh, it's I'm me and sure David Platt gonna... at work. And uh, Craig, not Craig. Yeah, Craig. Yeah. yeah, yeah like Craig, Craig David. Really wants you to believe this one, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, mm. right. And so now one of those da, da, da. No, Decision time. two are lies. Two are lies. <laughs> do you want to rule one out? That's a lie already. Yeah, rule one out straight away, Cam. Yeah, I, I did think that Max's was going to be a lie. And the picture, I think, if you, if he had just gone into the disabled toilet and you'd watched him and you were in the proximity of watching him, you'd you'd think he was a he was a regular you. at line by though because it was right next to the uh, Coronation Street set. Oh, bug at me! Right. Sorry, David, if you're listening, I didn't want anyone yeah, to know. Right. I know, it's you not know your name, oh shit! But, uh, oh god, actually, yeah, yeah fair. <laughs> Probably <laughs> cut that out because we we did have a crazy woman trying. No, to No, you said sorry to off. Dave, didn't you? Yeah, David Platt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We. Yeah. Anyway, go on. Right, so she normally comes in on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Cam's ruled me out. Yeah, right. I'm not going to say uh, And Max, I'm sorry, I think yours might be a fib as well. Okay. Back on. Yeah, you got it. Well done, mate. Nose for a story. That's Just like Line of Duty. Bingo. You've never seen you got, it, Max. You've got Don't... absolutely nothing on me. Yeah. That's years of L.A. Noir, though. Who's age? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well done. Okay, next segment... It's. Do you know what? I want a bit of IMAX. Yeah, okay. Cool. Said no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> I get calls aplenty uh, of people that love IMAX. You pay your bills, please. <laughs> <laughs> You've got enough money to watch those bloody movies. <laughs> you can do your bloody rent. Um, this week, it's uh, obviously Jobs. Yep. So I watched a hit movie called Glen Gary, Glen Ross. 
What? <laughs> never once. No, you never heard of this? Great. Bullshit. Oh. That's not a real film. It is. It's, no, no, it's got not. it's got hit actors like Al Pacino, Fair Ed enough. Harris, the Glenn, guy from Tomorrow Never Dies. Glenn Gary, did you say? Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Al, is, uh, is, is Glenn Goldwyn. Gary an Irish face? It sounds like. I have no idea. They don't really... got it. It's got a good review on Rotten Tomatoes. But before we get into that, yeah. okay, Glenn's so, uh, more Scottish, I think. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah. it's basically about a load of uh, salesmen um, who we've got a few of in this room, apparently. Yeah. Not um, <laughs> <laughs> and hey, Max, we're selling our soul on YouTube. That's so, we so can. true. That's so true. Um, uh, and I'm selling myself short by saying this is a bad segment because it's great. This one. Uh, it's about time to get it. So the movie is about uh, a group of salesmen who are trying to um, get some good leads uh, for sales. Yeah, and it sounds good. The, <laughs> the Glen Gary Glen Ross leads are kept in a manager's office, okay. and the manager is keeping them under lock and key. And he says, "You're not going to get these bloody leads unless you do something for me." Ooh, ooh, ooh mani- manipulative. And doing things to get uh, people to do what he wants. Yeah. Yeah. So at first I watched the film, you know, and I was like. That was a good start. It's <laughs> <laughs> like this movie, it's clearly it's about. <laughs> it's I, Max. It's not I take the piss out of Max whilst he's doing I, Max. Uh... That's all that paper says, isn't it? <laughs> just got, it just doesn't repeat. He just, just, got, got, <laughs> just got comebacks to when we, uh, it's like The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> um, so go on, all the leads are locked in the office. All the leads are locked in the office by the bad, the bad manager. Yeah, he won't bad let management, them have it. Yeah. Anyway, blah blah blah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought the movie was about you know the the way that people they live to work. They don't work to live. These people, they all they do the whole film. They just talk about these bloody leads, and it gets yeah. a bit boring to be honest. <laughs> um, and everyone, <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everyone from downtown. Yeah. Which is where the big office is kept. Downtown yeah. where though, Max? That's yeah. it. They never mention the name of the city. It says New York. It says New York City, right? Well, they there. probably do. <laughs> <laughs> that was, right, it's my, implied by the Empire State <laughs> Building. <laughs> <laughs> but they never mention it. <laughs> <laughs> my main issue with the movie is that it didn't have subtitles. <laughs> so I couldn't hear what some of them were saying. But basically. <laughs> Wherever um, Wall Street is. <laughs> uh, so everyone in downtown, I guess, New York. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> keep, keep basically oh. sending messages that they need to get more leads, make more money, blah blah blah. My issue with IMAX is trust. <laughs> um, oh, see, right. So, so the issue with fuck me. The issue is is that the movie at first I thought it was about people living to work and how depressed it makes them and the lengths they'll go to get these leads. Right. But then I realised something right at the end of the movie whilst the credits were rolling. Yeah. There is a character in the movie, uh, the manager, right? And the manager... <laughs> you plays the manager. Him before, didn't you? Well, must have you give me a sec. Right. The manager is a character who manipulates people to get what he wants. Yeah. Yeah? Um, he abuses <laughs> his power and he does horrible things to the other characters. Now, this character is played by a very popular Christmas YouTuber, Kevin Spacey. Oh. And... I realised that the end by the end of the movie that this whole uh, film plots out his life after the horrific things he did. He gets caught uh, shouted at mm. by the police, or the other characters call him a knobhead and a cunt, which I assume happens to him. You got called a pedo, didn't now. you? Yeah. Well, I don't call him a pedo, but I don't think he really does that in the film. Well, isn't that more just like life imitating art as opposed to? He often plays a bad guy, doesn't he? Yeah. Like a, as, a, yeah as opposed to the film, kind of predicting the. No, I. I, I I mean, that's how I saw it, but you're, right. you're welcome to your own interpretation. Okay. Uh, well, they do say a job is just the amount of monetary value you place upon an hour of your own time. That's so true. <laughs> this, this, wow. says, uh, <laughs> this says, this uh, says, when an office full of New York City real estate salesmen is given the news that all but the top two will be fired at the end of the week, didn't mention that. <laughs> the atmosphere, well, I'm not going to give out the, the whole plot The, the, the atmosphere film, begins I? to heat up. Shelley Levine, who has a sick daughter, again, didn't mention that. <laughs> He does everything in his power, the movie. He, everything he in his power to get better leads from his the boss. Film. He starts the film but and to goes, no avail. oh, can I talk to the doctor? And the doctor says no. 
And then at the end of the film, he mentions it again, but it's so not a... Did they get the leads? Uh, somebody steals them. Yeah. From the awful manager. Ooh. I, I feel like... Yeah, it's two steps forward. You've kind of gone down back. a bit of a tunnel here, haven't you? Yeah. Kevin's, you've gone into it with opinions about Kevin Spacey. Do you know what, Max? Anyway, Max it's hard to watch a movie with yeah, Kevin yeah. Spacey and now without the weight of his yeah. awful crimes on his head. Don't watch a film Max, with Kevin Spacey in the future. Um, I'm, I'm borderline livid with you coming on and ruining this segment. Uh, can you can you get out, please? And if you happen to find a businessman out there, please bring him in. Go on, get out. Yeah, I'm, good riddance. I'm ashamed of you. Fuck off. Go on. I once got interviewed for a job. Mm-hmm. I, was, uh, I was completely out of my depth because it was a, to be a chef at uh, an old people's home. Hi, uh, hi, Terence Cash. How are we all today? <laughs> Hello. 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 I just met one of your friends walking down the uh, the, the corridor. Did you spit him? No, no. Why would I spit on such a glorious man as himself? Uh, Please, no, he just, he's just annoyed me, that's all, Terence. Yeah. Please, take a card, any card. Mr Cash, was it? <laughs> Mr Cash, Terence Cash, Terry C, that's what they call me. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, I'm here to talk business with everyone. I heard there was a job, uh, a pod, a poddy, a job poddy going on, a jobby. Uh, we're, ba- we're talking about jobs, yeah? <laughs> yes, yes, if you want to talk about jobs, you've come to the right man. Or should I say, the right man has come to you. <laughs> that's fantastic. Yeah, let's talk <laughs> Lovely jobs. Lovely wordplay there. Thank you, thank you. That's what I do all day. I just uh, come up with really fun phrases. I've got so many. Is do that what you do for a living? Uh, uh, no, phrases? no, no. How, no. <laughs> no, please let me get to my job first before you start. We're just that's joking, a- we're just joking, Tim. <laughs> it's a comedy podcast. Yeah, yeah. So comedy? We- yeah, I came here for for a serious discussion on jobs and business. Oh, we can, okay. we can yeah, be we can, serious. We can, yeah, we can, do, we can do that. Are you get a fat cat like me sitting down <laughs> in a room like this? Well, yeah, I'm it. just hit. Sorry. <laughs> it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to have you on. Yeah. You're calling me a cat or you're calling me fat? <laughs> oh, you're a, yeah, you're a cat, mate. Thank you. R- Real. <laughs> yeah, that's comedy. You get into the comedy, yeah. 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 Right now, aren't you? Hey, let's talk business. Terence, um, yeah. could you explain uh, what you are? Yeah, sure. I'm a, I'm a businessman. Uh, I, uh, I actually used to work for a really big company. Uh, you could call me, I was like a manager of a really big company. Well, so, Terence, <laughs> Terence, it says here that you're a self-made thousandaire. Well, yeah, so, uh, I've so that. uh, that's, uh, that's what I was doing a few years back. Yeah. So I, uh, I came into a very large amount of money by just being myself basically. Yeah. Uh, and just doing really fun stuff. Right, and what, I made uh, a lot of money real quick, really. How much are we talking? If you don't we're talking me. a cool fifty grand, fifty thousand pounds, fifty k, and, how did and the you... K stands for cool. That's a lot of money. Uh, Terence, how did how, how exactly did you get that? My father died in a boating accident. <laughs> yeah, so my father my father was doing some fishing. Uh, he, he catches a lot of shrimp, and he makes a lot of money shrimp. catching shrimp. Uh, yeah, and your one a day, fisherman. what? I was just, just summarising that your father's a fisherman. No, he's not a fisherman. He did that for, oh, for fun. for a hobby? Yeah, for fun. He, he sold a lot of shrimp. He, he was actually a gardener. Um, and he made a lot of money doing fishing. And one day his speedboat <laughs> had a very horrible accident because whoever was driving it, <laughs> I'll never tell, uh, accidentally sped up too much. He fell off the back and got eaten by shrimp. <laughs> and so, uh, and as, as we like to say in my family, oh, that's ironic. Because he used to eat I love that a load phrase. of shrimp. He used to eat buckets of shrimp. Is that the family mantra, is it? <laughs> that's, the, that, that's been the family motto for years. I, I thought, Even I, before it happened. I thought the family motto would have been something to do with cash. But no, it's, no that's, that's funny. That's funny. God, that's ironic. <laughs> <laughs> our first our original uh, motto back in the 15th century was, uh, I love cash. And I want more of it by selling shrimp. Right. And, uh, and then it sort of... <laughs> Haven't already misheard the first bit. <laughs> what? Ah, never mind. Uh, so, Terence, <laughs> Tezabel, what, uh, what do you do now then? Uh, well, as I said, I, I was a big manager at a big big company. Say so big again. company? Uh, Pizza Express, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was a big manager there. Uh, everyone listened to me. Everyone had a good time <laughs> under my employ. Uh, we made a lot of money selling those uh, round uh, food stuffs. Yeah. Uh, hi. <laughs> I, I, I heard your name was like uh, Jimmy G. Yeah, yeah. Cool Jimmy G. Yeah, see yeah, Jimmy yeah. G. Whatever you like, Paul. I've got a few of them. 
Don't wear it out anyway. Um, <laughs> I'll try not did, to. Did you ever think of putting shrimp on pizza? <laughs> <laughs> You're a little fucking who you are. Yeah, no, Terrence, I never Terrence, thought of Terrence, that. Don't be swearing. Come on. Sorry, it's it's. Uh, yeah, I've got a tick, a nervous tick. I'm very nervous right now. <laughs> so I didn't realise. I thought I'd come across your as Well, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you a funny story. Uh, I didn't realise this was going to be a comedy podcast. I thought it was just uh, me and uh, Clint Boone in the other room talking business. <laughs> And here I am right now talking about putting shrimp on pizza. <laughs> pizza Express is where I used to work, yes. So you, so you ran a branch of Pizza Express? Well, no, I didn't run it. I was just the manager. The big okay. boss ran it, yeah. Uh, wh- where was it? Uh, Woking. So you ran the Pizza Express in Woking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 uh, basically, I was in charge of uh, doing the air conditioning there one time. And, uh, <laughs> Lo and behold, you know, I, uh, <laughs> funny story, I was choked on some uh, shrimp back home <laughs> so I could get to work on time. And I, by the time I got there, everyone was sweating, except for one man. <laughs> Very strange. <laughs> he was there for a, I believe he was there for a girl's birthday party. Yeah. Uh, except he was the only one present. <laughs> present. That's funny, Cash. Thank you. Was he was he close with this girl? He was uh, so close you could say he uh, yeah he she was sitting on his lap feeding her some lovely pepperoni pizza short crust short crust <laughs> what's a short crust short crust pizza is that something special? pizza that's got very short crust isn't that so, a pe- so, pastry isn't yeah, it yeah <laughs> so, sounds like an error by the crust. chef <laughs> a short crust pizza sorry so you're the manager but it's uh, also your job to fix the aircon. I'm what you might call a handyman. Yeah, okay. A very handy handyman. <laughs> Come with it. Sound like Prince Andrew. Uh, so, Who? so Terence, what do you do these days then? Well, uh, I'm I'm branching out. I've got a lovely new restaurant because I thought I'd stay in the restaurant business. Yeah. My family have always been in food. Uh, yeah. Funny <laughs> enough, my dad saw. was in food when he was eaten by hundreds of shrimp. <laughs> Uh, that's funny yeah. thank you that's what I'm here for <laughs> comedy <Put 'em. laughs> thank you I need that sound effect on my phone uh, sorry what was the question uh, what do you do now <laughs> oh, yes sorry uh, I work in a restaurant now I are own you, a you, restaurant sorry, are, you, are you a very busy man or anything oh no 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 I've got enough time to float down here and do some comedy podcasts yeah, yeah. I've got a team of people working under me Oh wow! Uh, uh, so, so what do you do then? Uh, so we we are opening a lovely uh, a lovely restaurant. Uh, it's a lovely tapas restaurant. Ooh, very nice Spanish. <laughs> Speaking of that sweaty man in uh, in Pizza Express, if you know, catch my meaning. He wasn't sweaty though, was he? No, I was the sweaty one because <laughs> right. I was I was seeing all this hot action in front of me. Right. Hot action is the name of one of our pizzas. Uh, <laughs> and what was I saying? Oh yes, I've got a lovely Spanish tapas restaurant. Got a taste of Seville. Okay, how's it? How are you spelling that? Uh, S A V I L L E. I'm not very good speller. I didn't do well in school. <laughs> well, it's unique, you know. Very I, tasty. I, I, mm. I doubt it's going to be a chain of restaurants. Well, it should be because I've put a lot of money into this. How much? Fifty thousand pounds. <laughs> Is that all you've got? No, I've still got a hundred pounds from when I went on a scratch card. I've got a lot of money. I've got a lot of fingers and a lot of pies. A lot of short crisp pies, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't get health and safety in that pizza place then. Pretty <laughs> big. Uh, oh, Terence, go on, please talk to me. Um, so, I hate to throw throw out there. I'm worried that the coronavirus might put people off going out to restaurants. How, how you? That's uh, that's great because we've uh, we've got a really cool new thing that we're trying out. It's called delivery. And uh, what it is, is I get a paper bag and I throw all the chips and the sundries they want in these bags and people pay me to take it to their home. And I wear a hazmat suit, so I'm not infected, Uh, apart from right now. So unless any of you in this room have coronavirus, I'm okay. Terence, what what dishes do you you sell? Tapas. Yeah, but but you just said chips and sundries oh um, chips and a, a sachets of ketchup <laughs> and mayonnaise so the tapas is mainly choice of sauces <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> so so I, uh, taste of seville is mainly sauce yeah <laughs> Oh, fine, I'll tell you. It's just my house with a deep fat fryer. 
me with a load of chips. Too many chips. I can't get rid of the things. I come in here to advertise my business. Buy my chips. 50 grand. 50 grand worth of potatoes. I have a whole basement full of spuds. Basement full of spuds. That's a good idea for a restaurant name. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Terry Terrence Cash, and I've got a basement full of spuds. Uh I don't think you need to worry. I think you've been a fantastic advert for uh, yeah. what it is you're doing. You what sound- I wanted to know before oh, before you did go, um, for any young entrepreneurs out there, yeah. do you have any rules of business? I've got three rules. Three, three <laughs> fun rules. <laughs> like that's a, that that's a tongue twister, isn't it? <laughs> three it's a tricky fun one. rules. Yeah, the that. first one is always pronounce your words properly. Three. Sorry, what was the last one? <laughs> and what was the name of your restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Terence. I, 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 I came here. I asked you a question. I'm to the sorry. express, uh, <laughs> whatever the word is. No, no one told you anything room before you came here, Terence. You just walked in unannounced. How dare you, sir? I spotted a fat boy outside <laughs> with a half penny in his pocket wow. and a heart full of dreams, and he said, "It's all yours, baby." <laughs> Maybe he was that talking about himself. Characteristic, <laughs> Ter- Terence. Talk to did me. Did the death of your father affect you at all? It did. It gave <laughs> me a. Tell. It gave me a real hankering for shrimp, so I could be closer to him. <laughs> I eat nothing but shrimp now. Why didn't you go in the water and try and help? Him? <laughs> like I'd go in the water. I can't swim. Do I look like a, a whale or a shrimp? <laughs> no, I'm a human man. With human hearts and human dreams. <laughs> so your kitchen obviously just stopped full of shrimp for personal use and chips for the business. <laughs> Terence, what made you get the same haircut as Andy Warhol? Me and Andy Warhol are really good friends, He's real dead. close friends. He's dead. Andy, <laughs> Andy uh, faked his death 15 years ago and he said... Uh, I want to hang out with you, uh, Terry, <laughs> Terence, TC, and make spuds with you in the basement. What? So what, is that all he does now, make spuds with you? <laughs> he does the peeling, I do the frying and delivering and putting up the sachet of mayonnaise and ketchup in the bag. And how exactly is that a taste of Seville? <laughs> Have you been to Seville? Uh, no, Have you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am but a humble businessman. So humble. With uh, a heart full of dreams and a basement full of spuds. Uh, you can have a heart full of cholesterol if you keep eating those potatoes, mate. I don't eat them, mate. I eat the shrimp. <laughs> and shrimp is healthy. It's one of your five a day. And I eat five of them. So you do the math. Uh, Terence, it's time to cash out, if you don't mind me saying. I'm going. Bye. <laughs> right, stay safe. And thank you for this. You have that. Oh. <laughs> Off he goes. Uh, Terence Cash there. Taste of spuds. <laughs> Basement of spuds. <laughs> Bye, Terence. <laughs> this time for... Oh, much you... Uh, some right, character mate. you've missed, pal. Oh. He, he was a strange one. Yeah. Uh, to... It's now time for... <laughs> well, we should probably steady our ship, but uh, we're going to go for something even wackier. <laughs> oh, no. It's Tom Looney. <laughs> Yep. Okay, so uh, this week in the world of Tom Looney, uh, all things wacky and job related. Tom Looney. He's a can of Red Bull in your ears for the listeners at home. Come on. <laughs> yeah, so I just thought I'd have a look around for some of the wacky jobs out there. Um, and, and I found a few. You're bonkers, okay. mate. <laughs> Thank God for that. Dizzy Rascal was talking about you in that song, wasn't he? <laughs> Uh, so to begin with, uh, I found one here. Uh, you can order a standing bridesmaid. It's someone's job uh, that can, which, which I thought, okay, fair enough, someone to come in as a planner. But I visited uh, bridesmaidsforhire.com. <laughs> <laughs> of course you have. He <laughs> randy bugger. <laughs> and, so, uh, and so basically it's someone that will uh, can, can come in for the, for the whole duration of your wedding. Yeah. We'll walk you down the aisle. We'll deliver your maid of honour speech. And yeah, and oh, and basically, so they're there for anything. Like an you actress. Want. Yeah, yeah. Wow. See, yeah. yeah. Are they contractually obliged to shag the best man? Cameron, don't bring that sort of <laughs> filth into this. Really, that's tradition. Really spontaneous and classy show. Yeah, that's yeah, tradition. That. You're, you're ruining this segment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Moving on. You could just ask your friend to do that. No, of course. I well, that's what point. you tend to do. Yeah. If you don't <laughs> have any friends, he's found a hole in this. <laughs> how it tends to work. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, and people pay a lot of money for this stuff. Yeah. Um, this is, uh, see if you can guess uh, how much people pay for this. Uh, so you, you can work as a baby name consultant. Oof, is it per hour? Uh, no, so you'll, 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 so you'll pay a fee. So yeah. basically, uh, you know, you'll, you'll go to them when you, when you want to name your baby and they will do loads of work into um, checking that, you know, things haven't been trademarked. Uh, they'll look at baby name data analysis. Right. Uh, What's popping? Yeah, so I was I was reading about like um, what they say about certain names. So for instance, for example, uh, they'll check if the, you know like if names have an aggravating past. Or wow. it was written here about Polly. So Polly's not a heavyweight name. It gets a very high score, ninety eight percent on ethical caring, eighty seven percent for popular and fun, but a twelve percent success. So you wouldn't go for a Polly if you wanted to have a successful daughter. Wow, wow. I know a heavy Polly. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so how much do you think you might pay uh, a baby name consultant to come in and name your baby for you? I don't know, but for life, aren't you? Polly's a bad one because there's Polly filler, and some lad's gonna come along and say, "Oh, I'm Polly filler." Uh, like, oh, nice to meet you, son. You know? Do you know I am called? Cameron? Other names are available. <laughs> yeah. What? Cameron is an anagram of romance. Nice. Yeah. That's why I'm called Cameron. But it wasn't fully thought through because the like meaning of my name, Cameron means bent nose. And green is from the middle-aged term for someone at a fur who used to run around dressed like a furry, chucking glitter on people so they'd have a sexy spring and have lots of sex. Oh. So my nose means bent nose, sex furry. <laughs> You're welcome. You've lived up to your name. Well done. Thanks very much, yeah. Paul. <laughs> so 29 grand was the answer. <laughs> what? Wow. Yeah. Well, for yeah, how yeah. long? No one's ever done that, so, sure. Yeah. Well, screw uh, this. So they have, they have a, a website, uh, mynameforlife.com. It's, an, it's obviously American. Of course. Uh, and yeah, so they get... They've been going for like 10 years and you it's can, a massive, yeah, massive thing. You can thing. literally see every name yeah. there is just on a website for free. <laughs> Imagine yeah, being in debt because of that. Why not just do that? <laughs> yeah. That's awful. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got out there? We've got um, Professional uh, Snuggler. Oh. Yeah, so uh, this is, uh, again, another... It's, it's, it's a big thing in America. Mm. So you can do courses and you, you kind of... Uh, you become qualified, you get a diploma... And so you can charge up to like eighty, ninety dollars an hour, like, like a frigid prostitute. Yeah, basically. Yeah, so they, so they, so they, frigid, <laughs> basically. So I was watching. So there's a video of someone who does it and uh, talking about what she does. She says, you know, I, I bring them in. I make a tunnel from the back door straight into my room, so they don't have to go through like the house. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she's being the big spoon. <laughs> and so, yeah, so we get on the bed, we, we chat until they feel comfortable, and then we just uh, we just arrange ourselves in different different positions for an hour. And Jeez. we cuddle and get intimate, Aww. but without oh, I don't know. Anymore. I don't know. Sounds like a front for something. It's, yeah. it's sad in a way. Yeah. It, so anyone can be a snuggler, but there are. Um, <laughs> the, no, you have to be. Women are in more God. high demand because yeah, most of the clients are male. It says most of the clients are males aged between twenty and seventy-five. So basically, <laughs> all men. Yeah, I not think much you'd of an be age bloody range. Good at that, Max. A lovely snuggler. I think you'd be a good snuggler. I. Well done to Tom Looney there. Yeah. yeah. That was crazy, Tom. Wacky, mate. Oh, cheers, cheers. I need it. I need I'll it leave it there. I'll leave it there, yeah? That was good. That was good. Keep him wanting more. Um, <laughs> something IMAX has never done. Fuming about that. Uh, I'm heart and soul into that segment. Now it is time for Put It To The Max. Put it to the max. Put it to the max. So excited. Okay, should we dive straight in? Yeah, let's two, do it, man. Two questions for you here this week, Max. Nice. Hello, Matt here. Hello, Matt. So I'm going away on holiday in September and I really need to get into shape as my friends are all shaped like gods. As Max has the body of a god as well, yep. the Buddha, could he please oh, give me some workout tips and maybe a diet plan? I, I realised I went like that as if that was me saying that. No, that's, no, it, no, that's that in brackets. That was Matt saying that. No, from no, Matt, that's, that's Matt. Matt. That's Matt. ruthless Matt, from yeah. Frickin' mug, yeah? Um, do you know what? It insult as well, was it? Yeah, it could be genuine though. He could like, you know. Buddha's not even a god, he's a deity, so Matt's clearly... Yeah, in exactly. need of some education. Oh yeah, I'll go more like Ganesh. Put down the weights and pick up a yeah, book, well. mate. You know, <laughs> Ganesh um, had another leg. Obviously, I know a lot about dieting. I've done it a lot in my life. Um, I'd say just what? What he wants? A, he wants a hot bod. He yeah. wants a body like mine. I don't think he wants so. the body of a god. He just, I think he just wants something that people are gonna go. Oh, okay. He wants I've a reaction that. to his body. He wants people to notice him. <laughs> he doesn't care how. Right? Yeah. Okay. okay. He'll do anything. It seems. Shall I do this, Max? Yeah, go on. You, 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 you're into physical use, stuff. Use, uh, use, what's it called? Oh, the My Fitness Pal. That's an easy app to use, uh, and you can put how many months you want to diet for, 
and it'll tell you how much you need to eat per day. You can get a little bit strenuous with it. Did you just point at me then when you said eat no, per I, day. No, I, was, I, I just kind of looked at one. you as if to say, "Yeah." Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. I'll let, I'll let him off for now. I'll let him off for now. Uh, yeah, that that makes it very easy to do. Um, Too easy. Yeah. Need a but bit of a but then again, you are you are sat there in the middle of you know the public just scanning a protein bar. Going, no, yeah. That's my life. Yeah. Um, exercise. That's a good one. Exercise is always Does good. Not. Get you get your ass up there, Matt. Yeah. Yeah. You lump. Matt needs to get on a bit of Gokwan, if you ask me. Yeah. It's not your rig. It's, you know, who's in control of the rig that makes it sexy. That's it. Know what yeah. I mean? That's, a, that's Are you still doing the butch thing from before? Yeah, boy. <laughs> you know, uh, to like, quote Gokwan. <laughs> 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 to quote my lord and saviour. <laughs> it's like uh, that fella on the thingy advert with the Jack Daniels and he's walking down the beach and he's, you know, not stereotypically like, oof, it's yeah, the reference going, there. Yeah. bingo. Yeah. That's yeah. all it is. Do you know what the dad bod's coming in? Do you is know it? what I mean? Yay. Yeah. I uh, saw another guy uh, called Alhan referred to it as the father figure. Oh, that was funny. That's, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's, cute. Good. <laughs> that's real cute. I don't think the dad bod is in, mate. Yeah. It I, is with the women I'm I know. Skeptical. Fair enough. Okay, so we had one from uh, the US of A uh, a couple of weeks ago. And now greetings from Singapore. Oh, oh wow. international. Please keep my name anonymous. Oh. <laughs> Asking for a friend, obviously. Uh, so <laughs> then he says, my girlfriend and I went through a bad fight two days back and my birthday is in three days. My ex and I share the same birthday. Should I try and get with her instead now? Yeah. Uh, that was we... put it... To- Go on. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, a shocking behaviour. Yeah. I mean, clearly you don't like this girl that you're with at the moment if you if the ex is still a... Uh, That's still so true, mate. Yeah. That is knowledge yeah, bombs so. from Smith. Um, so I'd say if you don't like her, just go with the ex. You're clearly a knobhead, so you'll just, you know, you, whatever makes you happy, I guess. Yeah. That's the worst piece of advice. You know, obviously two people are going to get hurt. So I assume you're going to screw the ex over again. I'd say, yeah, let, let this girl go because... Yeah. Although it sounds like you're being, you know, quirky. Yeah. But, you know, at the same time... Or... It depends how bad the fight was, really, doesn't it? Yeah. What you could do is... Try and meet up with the ex behind your girlfriend's back so you get one present from her. You get <laughs> I don't think present- this is about birthday presents. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it is. Birthday, yeah. maybe you it get is, a yeah. present from your girlfriend, so then you get two presents. And then you can break her heart after that. But I mean, Giving that's still this person awful the benefit of the doubt, seeing that they've taken the time to write in, yeah. and they must have some inkling. Have you what seen doing- this show? <laughs> well, That's not how we do things. Th- they, they might think what they're doing is wrong. Yeah. Then... They're looking for I would suggest to-, to them to go out and try and meet some more people and new people in the hopes that, you know, they might put themselves in a similar position to the ex or the girl they're with now where they care about someone and then they turn around and say, well, I'm going to get back with my ex and diddle you over just because that's how you grow. And they might grow to be a better person in the long run. <laughs> I don't get how they're going to grow by doing house. that. Yeah. Well, it's like uh, he's no, because no, he's with the girl at the moment. He can't go out and see other oh, people. Oh, I thought he said he just broke up with the no, girl. No, they've no. just had a bit of a oh, fight. Well, oh, they're just a knob then. So yeah, 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 yeah bugger it. <laughs> so you, you try and give genuine advice. But... Yeah. Well, that was well, put it to the max. No, you didn't do anything wrong. That's our Singapore listener there. To end the show, Max is going to sing us out with Terence Cash now. Uh, <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, Let me remember the voice now. So, final question. Dream jobs. Oh, uh, wow. What are your dream jobs? Porn star. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Taking yeah. literally that. No, I don't know. Um... Anyone? <clears throat> well, I always wanted to be a footballer. Um, yeah? Yeah. At 29, I think I've just about given up on that now. Yeah. No. Come on. Really? You think? Alan Rickman didn't become an actor until 40. And I assume the same rules to apply to football. That'd be a safe assumption. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People peak at you know different times in life. It's true. It's true. Maybe I'm nowhere near my peak yet. Maybe exactly. I'll be. Those those legs have a few years yeah, left yeah. in them. Is that a Japanese player still playing at like fifty, 50 odd? Fifty. Yeah. 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 Alan yeah he's just renewed this year. His contract. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You mean. Could be me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd um, love to see you as a, a, a Japanese footballer yeah. at 50 <laughs> that's the trick that's my dream I want to be a 50 year old Japanese footballer <laughs> well that's a dream mate yeah, yeah. that's oh, a fair play to you dreaming. Oh. Max do you have any uh... Uh, yeah I, I, I don't know how great I'd be at it but a, a twitch 
just streaming. Streaming. It's just, it's just playing games now, all day. Yeah, you could do you that now. I've been telling you to do that for a while. Like, ooh, I just picked up a health uh, pickup. Lucky me. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> that's going to give me some extra energy to fight these bad guys. I don't know if you have the legs for that. Man. Like and subscribe, please, guys. Yeah, that's that's good enough. Oh, I think you could definitely do that now. Yeah. yeah. It's easy. You sit, sit, down. Yeah. sit down and play a game. Turns and record. Game. Make sure you record. Cam, <laughs> uh, what about you? Um... Well, you've ever so graciously facilitated this dream of mine to a degree. You can't um, talk about that, will you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this podcast got very blue. Uh, just, I, I always wanted to be an actor. Just for ages and ages, always mm. wanted to be an actor. Uh, yeah. I'd, I'd probably still give it a go, given half a chance. But Are if not, good? I'll just very settle good. for being, you know, the world's foremost superstar. Or <laughs> at least, yeah. yeah. Or at least a satirist of portrayals of homosexual people in YouTube media. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's comfortable. Got my zone. So eloquently put as well. After Stephen Lars, you could be a detective. Yeah. <laughs> could be as well. Yeah. <laughs> when you've been to us, Start every investigation off. Let's just like uh, <laughs> thin blue line. Yeah, or just whatever the show is. A lot of juicy in there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do it, you killer? <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, you? Um, or are you living the dream? He is living the dream. When I was when I was six, I wanted to be a stand-up comedian. Then I did stand-up and realised this was not what I dreamt. <laughs> <laughs> then I became a stand-up and wanted to be a six-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know. I've I've got a very very nice job. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, did you give Did you give up potty training at age six to focus on comedy? And when it gets to the stand up, you're like, I made a horrible mistake. Oh, God. It was a shit show, to be fair. Oh, I've seen bits of it. I thought it was all right. Thank you. I saw the whole thing and I Fucking thoroughly enjoyed right. it. Don't tell me with that brush. Oh, um, there we have it. Dreams can come true. Look at me, baby. I got a you. <laughs> uh, Max Talk to me uh, Well done on today Thank you sir Tom well done Cheers Cameron Great to have you on You know how I do boy uh, Been a pleasure In the edit you might sound a little bit more cockney And we might have put your face Yeah yeah, yeah no worries, no worries. <laughs> uh, I know this girl This has been Stephen Tries Jobs um, Thank you for watching And ciao And listening Forget people listen. After time. No one's listening at this point. <laughs> <laughs>